Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Ken Gallant, Public Information Officer for the Sparks Police. And I'm Adam Mayberry. I'm the Community Relations Manager for the City of Sparks and also the Public Information uh, for General Government Issues in the City of Sparks. Today is January 7th. It's Saturday. Uh, as most of you know, we are expecting some significant flooding in our city. One of the most commonly asked questions that we have from our residents is, is my home going to flood? So we want to be very clear with the, the target area that we're mostly con concerned with in the city. Uh, and I want to say too that we rely on information from the National Weather Service in terms of weather forecasts as well as river uh, forecasts. And so that is the key source. They've been very accurate so far. Um, and we do expect, and I want to be clear, we do expect significant flooding in the city of Sparks tomorrow on Sunday at about 1 o'clock is when the river is supposed to crest. Now, where are those areas? Uh, does it impact you? The area we're concerned with is in the Sparks Industrial Area. That's that area south of Interstate 80, north of the Truckee River, between 395 and, and Vista and, and, and Larkin Circle, that area there. It's an area of uh, countless businesses, large and small, various scope and sizes. A lot of the businesses um, have uh, interact with hazardous materials and chemicals. Uh, there's a lot of light manufacturing, warehousing distribution. Um, it's a livelihood for nearly 25,000 plus people. It's an economic hub for our region. So that is why we are concerned property damage can impact those people's livelihood. It's the uh, city's priority to protect the, uh, the life and the property of our community. So if you live in the other uh, neighborhoods throughout our city, essentially north of Interstate 80, you shouldn't be too concerned. There's certainly a corridor along Sparks Boulevard. Uh, if you're familiar with Sparks Boulevard, there's that ditch in the center that we refer to as the North Truckee Drain. We do expect that that'll uh, possibly exceed capacity. Could be some standing water on Sparks Boulevard, specifically Sparks Boulevard from Shadow Lane down to uh, the, uh, the, the interstate. Um, could be some standing waters uh, in some of the neighborhoods around there. Uh, could be some property damage, we don't know. If you feel compelled to take action with sandbags, for instance, please do. But I wanna be clear, we do not expect, there are not projected expectations that uh, there'll be a significant flooding in the neighborhoods throughout our city. The focus is in the Sparks industrial area. We have a website, cityofsparks.us. You go on there, you'll see uh, a red alert. You can click on the red alert. We have a lot of resources for you that you can look at. We have inundation flooding maps that you can look at. Uh, we have the latest news and information. There's some other resources, helpful hints. Um, we also have uh, a, a sandbag map. There are seven sandbag sites throughout the city. For tomorrow, we will have significant staffing increase tomorrow, uh, specifically to handle uh, all of the uh, traffic control uh, issues and situations and any calls for service that we may get in that industrial area that will be closed off. So the road closures we're looking at for tomorrow, beginning at that time frame, are at um, eight locations. And this is weather dependent. It is dependent on how affected the area is going to be, True. How, how much flooding uh, does occur. It is going to flood down there, but we've got to assess it literally minute by minute, hour by hour. We're gonna stay up with that, uh, working with our emergency management team. Closure locations that we are looking at, McCarran Boulevard at Nugget, Glendale Avenue at McCarran, Greg Street at McCarran, McCarran at Mill Street, Sparks Boulevard at I-80, East Greg Street at I-80, and again, Kleppy Lane at Meredith, Kleppy Lane at East Gray. A couple things I want to bring up real quickly. Uh, an officer will, will, I'm sure, confirm these things. Uh, stay away from the area. If you don't have business being in that area now, uh, just simply stay away. Uh, we need to allow people to do their jobs, to, to, to provide sandbags. Uh, also, a lot in a time like this, people like to go down in the river, like to check how high and fast it's moving. Yes, it's an impressive sight, but I don't think our police officers want you down there because uh, the river is fast, it's cold, it's high. Uh, we need people out of that area. Also, if you go to the, to, uh, the sandbag location, please bring a shovel. Uh, the sandbags are, and the sands are going fast. We have bags for you, but bring a shovel. Um, also, very, very important, a couple of numbers I, we need you to know, 353-5555. That is a, a City of Sparks flood preparedness hotline. Uh, and for other information and questions, you can call that number. It'll be open till uh, six o'clock today and 24 hours uh, beginning tomorrow. Also 211, dialing 211 also provides some good regional information. 
Also want to touch briefly on uh, some of the businesses down there who store and manage hazardous materials. You need to store those uh, 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 drums and, and containers that have those hazardous materials in there because should we get a significant flood event, oftentimes those drums and containers, right. they float away. It creates an even bigger problem. Um, also, stay out of the flood waters, particularly uh, uh, in the streets, if, if there's uh, high flood waters, oftentimes the manhole covers come up. Uh, if you're in those flood waters, you can fall into a manhole cover, not know it, and drown. So it is a serious and significant problem. Also, this is really a time, I think, where the city needs to come together. We need your help. If you're a resident or a business owner, please go out, clear your gutters for us. Uh, if you see a storm drainage that, that is uh, uh, full of debris or ice, please clear it because that's going to allow the water to go uh, down into our storm drainage systems and prevent some isolated and localized flooding in our neighborhoods and on our streets. And that's going to help. So everything helps. And most importantly, and I, uh, I'm sure Officer Gallup will agree, if you don't have to be anywhere tomorrow or a Monday, school is closed Monday, if you don't have to be on the streets, stay home. If, just do that for us. Do that for our emergency responders should there be an event that exceeds our expectations. I think those are all great points. And just to surmise from police department standpoint is exactly that. Everything that's being put into place right now by everybody here in the city, all resources and assets available, um, the restriction access is all for safety. It's for your safety and our safety. So uh, please stay in touch with us. Uh, follow us on website, right? It's cityofsparks.us slash flood info. Again, good, good resources uh, at the city. Uh, city hotline 775-353-5555 for flood information and questions and concerns you may have. Or, call, or, or you can call, uh, call or dial 211 for uh, regional information, including Sparks information. And of course, the website is constantly updated, uh, cityofsparks.us. You can follow the city on Facebook, Twitter uh, as well. Police Department supports us in that effort. Uh, again, please stay safe. If you don't have to be out on the roads tomorrow or Monday, please stay home.